What is going on team? Welcome back to another video. Is it just me or is it usually so hard to wake up early in the morning when you when, I actually, when you actually get up and get going, it feels so good. Because that's how I'm feeling right now, but today is a sad day because I think I'm gonna be losing the TT for, for a few weeks, could be months. Today's finally the day we're taking the TT to the collision center to get fixed. If you haven't seen what happened at TT, check out my previous video. Uh, I really wanted to fix this car by myself, but State Farm changed their policy and they don't allow people to fix their own cars. But if you want to fix up your own car, you go to your own shop. It's just it's just a whole hassle. You got to pay the deductible, then your insurance has to cover the repair, and then the insurance, whatever, send it to State Farm. It's just, it's just a big mess. I was like, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I just picked one of the places off of State Farm's list and I just went with it. The TT hasn't been good, man. Uh, the TT is not only messed up uh, appearance-wise, it's also mechanically messed up. As you guys can see, there is a check engine light. And the reason the check engine is on is because the car is running too lean, which means that there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the engine because the engine is making some very high pitch noises very often so at first i thought it was a an alternator belt or maybe the tensioner but my friend checked it out when i was when i had a car on i read it a little bit and the sound wasn't even coming from from the belt also there's oil shooting everywhere in the engine bay there's oil on the inside of the hood there's oil all over the valve cover i'm thinking it's the valve cover gasket because there's oil in every gap of the valve cover. I could be wrong though, so I really don't have time to check it out right now because I'm taking my car. So once once the car gets fixed, there's gonna be a lot of maintenance that's gonna happen on this car. Hmm, I don't think uh, that's supposed to be there. So yeah, we're on our way to the location. I'm going to Crash Champions near my house. Seemed like probably one of the best locations there. They're, you know, they're pretty high rep. And I thought they could definitely get the job done. The truck is definitely going to have to be replaced on this car and probably some other pieces too. So I'll see you guys there. I really pulled up to the wrong location. What? Oh man, way to start off the morning. Now we have actually arrived to the right Crash Champions and their facility looks very, very, very nice. Time to say our final goodbyes to the TTS. Damn, since when did they start giving out these nice ass rentals of 14S6? I could get used to this diamond stitching, sports seats. Like I said, I could I could really get used to this. Well, I'm just kidding, guys. This is my mother's S6, but my Audi isn't the only one that's broken in the family. This one, you guys can see, has some suspension issues. Front left steering wheel, I mean, steering wheel, what am I saying? The front left wheel leveling valve since this car has air suspension the leveling valve broke and we're probably gonna try to take care of it we got the part i don't know if we're gonna be able to take care of it i don't know how hard of a job it is to do it but we got my coffee let's go boys while we're in this car i was like dude let me just give you guys a little bit of a review about this car man i've driven this car many times and if i'm being honest i have way more fun in my tts uh, of course, this car is way faster than my TTS. It's the 4 liter twin turbo engine, similar to the RS6, RS7 engines. You know, this car weighs a lot. It weighs a lot. So the speed doesn't really feel as aggressive as my TTs. But like I already said, the TT is way slower, but it's smaller, it's lighter, it feels quicker. This car is perfect, daily driver. When I'm in my TTS, you know, if I'm driving for a while, my back starts hurting. And this car, even though it has a sports seats, it's still very comfortable. I could be driving with this all day. The space is there. The sound system has the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which is which is very, very sweet. I mean, when you do launch control in this car, yes, you can feel the speed, but I mean, yeah, you see the miles go up like crazy, but it's like, like I said, you just don't feel the pull as much. And it's, I don't know, I don't know, the transmission is not as sharp as as in uh, TTS. But overall, I mean, this car is great. I'm just comparing it to my TTS. I mean, if I could take this car, I would definitely take it. It might be my next car. It might be my next car. I don't know yet. It's still in the works. But of course, I 
I'd really want to upgrade into like a TTRS next or an RS3 or maybe even like an M2. I don't know. My friend has one. I heard it. I was uh, at that moment I was sold. But yeah, here's my little honest review. It's a great car, great daily car. It has plenty of power but just doesn't feel like it. Definitely needs a tune and exhaust. This car is stock except for 21 rims. So if this car maybe had an exhaust, a tune, an intake, you know, maybe that would change my mind a little bit, but it's still a great car overall. Ooh, I mean, like I said, from the standstill, this this car really pulls. It, I mean, I take it back. This car, this car is great. This car is great. I take it back. D delete. The, the, just ignore the previous footage. Ignore the previous footage. We arrived here at the shop and I got my brother's B 8.5 S4 next to us. And I got a question for you guys. If both cars were stock, the S6 and S4, which one would you take? The four liter twin turbo engine or the three liter supercharged engine? I think I would have to roll with the S6. I mean, because the V8 twin turbo, you throw, you toss a tune on there, down pipes. This makes around six, 600 horsepower. All that, I mean, that car is right now is stage two plus. I mean, it's got a whole bunch of stuff done to it. It's pushing around, I think around, somewhere around 500 horse. But, I mean, if we're looking at both car stock, I think I would still go with the S6 for the size and, and, and all the little things that come with the S6. But let me know in the comments below, what would you guys take? The S4, which is easily tunable, very easily tunable with the bigger pulley, could push a lot of horsepower, or this S6, let me know. Clocking out, boys, at 8.08 right now. Been a long day at work, but I'm finally back in my legit rental the rental that i got is a toyota corolla it's probably like a 1920 only has 18,000 miles it's it's a pretty pretty decent rental uh zero 060 eventually this car does not move at all but for the money i don't know how much it's cost but i mean it's an entry level car so they're probably cheap it, it's pretty decent it's the, the technology is there but yeah, been a long day, boys. Sorry for the shitty vlog. I know I didn't do much. Just dropped off the car. Said my final go goodbyes for the few weeks. But I just want to pop in back uh, and, and ask you a few questions. What do you got? What kind of videos? What kind of content do you guys want me to post on this channel in the time frame when the TTS is gone? And then once I get the TTS back, what mods? Do you wanna? Do you guys want me to do next? Do you guys want me to do a tune and exhaust, like a legit exhaust, not the straight pipe that I have? Like, just just give me some video ideas and um, and I'll make sure to make that happen. If you boys stuck through the whole video, here's a little bonus for you guys. Zero to sixty in a Toyota Corolla. Dude, I, I might take a nap before we get a sixty. To be honest. Dude, it sounded like the whole engine was just about to suffocate. <laughs> This is a few days after I dropped off my car. I finally got the estimate from State Farm and the numbers are pretty solid. The numbers are what I pretty much expected to get and uh, it's $2,700. On the estimate, they said they're gonna replace the trunk, uh, the emblems, the, uh, the bumper is gonna get fixed and they still don't know about the spoiler. Spoiler, I let them know there was a fault for the spoiler because at one time it wasn't going down fully and I let them know about that. So if they find something in inside the, with the little mechanism maybe it's gonna be more but yeah it's it's what i expected 2700 new trunk get that painted bumper fixed up emblems gaskets and stuff like that and it's gonna be good to go all right guys thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one boys